guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's episode of Fossil Friday, I thought I would showcase some smaller ammonites I found on my recent fossil hunting trip. So these ammonites are of the species Harposerus and I've got a few variations to show you guys today. And um, so one of them, this is actually my favorite one because I found it just lying amongst the pebbles as it is. The sea had done all the hard work for me of exposing the ammonite and I just think it's beautiful when it's a little bit weathered. Um, so this is what it looks like. So it's all there um, and I just think it's gorgeous, like all the ribbing and everything. I love it. So I am going to clean it up just slightly because the sea has just missed a few little bits and bobs on the inner, inner worlds, which is ideal because if the sea tried to do clean up those bits, it probably wouldn't be there. And um, so I think this one's going to turn out beautiful, but even if I didn't touch this and just left it as it is, I think it's gorgeous. It could, it's a piece just on its own. So I was so, like when I found it just like this, I was like, what? <laughs> How? So you can just, when you go fossil hunting, they do just turn up like this sometimes. And these are my favorite ones where the, it's just natural, like this is exactly how it was. And to be honest, if this was left much longer, it would probably be broken up, etc. So to just find it at this level of exposure, oh, it's just perfect. I love it. And I love how you can see like the crystals within, like where it's been filled. Love it. This is definitely one of my favorite pieces I found for my dissertation because again this, these are one of the ammonites within one of the layers I'm studying so it's all relevant and look how beautiful it is. I just I love fossils. Um, so the next one I found was inside a rock so it's the middle is all there but it, the rest of it's a little bit eroded so you can see like I need to clean up the middle section and chisel out this uh, lump of matrix here and it's obviously been weathered around the edges and it's no longer all there but if the middle's really nice I think it will still look lovely so I'm going to clean it up and see what it turns out like but I just I love the ribbing pattern on Harposeruses I think that's just it's so strong and you can see the shape of it there that's that's what I mean by the ribbing structure, but no, I love it. So I'm gonna clean this one up. I'll let you know if it goes well, or follow my Instagram, I'll probably post a picture I normally do when I clean stuff up. And then the final ammonite I found, it's a bit of a jigsaw, you know, it didn't come out in one piece. So I'm gonna carefully hold this up to you guys. So it looks like this, so it does have, I can't think where this piece goes in it, but I know it came from it, so I'll, I'll figure that out at some point. So you can see here, it spirals in like that. I need to flick off the middle part, but this is actually, you can see the cracks here, one there and one there. So it is in three pieces, but I think it's just, it sits so gorgeously in its rock. I think with that clean, cleaned up, it's just a perfect, it's just a perfect Harposerus. So with a bit of clean up and a bit of glue, we should have a beautiful specimen. But um, I just thought that was really, just really sweet like that. So I do need to clean up the middle bit, um, but hopefully it will flick off nicely. And I'll, I'll dismantle it so you guys can see what I mean. Like, so that's one part. <laughs> so it, that's literally just the main part. It's just flicked off. Ta-da! I'm just blocking the light from you guys. My apologies. And the next part, it's just flicked off. <laughs> so literally, like, I was left with this and I had to find the pieces because when you're fossil hunting and you're using hammers, it very rarely comes out perfectly, which is why when the sea does it for me, it's like hallelujah, because this is, it's whole, it's one piece, and it's, it's just perfect. Whereas when I'm like hacking it out of rock, chances are it's gonna do this. And then that piece is in fact in two pieces. So it's actually a four piece fossil, um, but it makes a nice jigsaw because it all joins together so perfectly. But yeah, you know, you can't have everything. And it's always, I, it always surprises me, the ones I think that are going to come out horrifically and shatter in, like, into a million pieces actually normally come out the nicest. It's the ones that I think, now that's just going to, you know, the rock is just going to perfectly lift off this one and reveal a lovely Harposerus, but no, <laughs> it didn't. It shattered it into pieces and left the middle bit completely covered in rock still, but hey ho. And there we go. I, I just love how it looks. I think it's so sweet, just sat in its rock. But um, 
Yeah, so they're the three hard pulse salmon eyes I wanted to share with you guys today. I do hope you enjoyed seeing the things I found. And again, when I clean them up, I'll probably hopefully film a video doing it. If not, check out my Instagram, it'll be linked below. But if you enjoyed, please give this video a like and subscribe. Um, and let me know in the comments if you want to see anything specific in the future. So thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you again.